Hi guys! Welcome back to my simple kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be making a very simple recipe. It's actually something that I have kind of adapted from an appetizer. My sister once made, um, she brought it to a family get together and she called it sticky wings. And I think my husband ate three-fourths of the wings himself and so they became Clay's sticky wings. So now I make sticky legs for dinner and then I'll serve like a baked potato with it. Um, I'll just buy a whole big thing of chicken legs, you know, cheap. I think it's three bucks for the whole big thing of them. And, um, and I make sticky legs. Y'all ever heard the song, this, the, you know, we do this, the sticky leg instead of the stanky leg, you know? Right about this time, my, if my 16-year-old were home, he'd be saying, Mom, stop. But, you know, anyway. So it's really easy. All you have is sugar, sugar, soy sauce, and some ginger. You can use ground ginger or you can use um, fresh ginger. Uh, I like to use the fresh ginger because it gives... Uh, a much brighter flavor and I cut the ginger in half because I don't like a ginger I don't like the flavor of ginger too too much but you can use the whole the whole thing and I also um, I don't double the recipe for the for the chicken for the legs but I, I do one and a half of the recipe so what I'm going to start with is one and a half cups of sugar yeah, one and a half cups. <laughs> so, that's about it. And then equal parts of soy. And I buy the store brand of the soy sauce because it's probably, it's not half the cost, but it's, it's a, probably, you know, a quarter of the cost. And you know we're all trying to cut cost anywhere we can aren't we um, I have I've had four major back surgeries and probably looking at another one somewhere down the road and I can't work anymore and so we look to cut cost anywhere we can some things, you know, I always tell my husband, you know, you get what you pay for in a lot of things, but in things like this, it really doesn't make that big a difference. So, one and a half cups of soy sauce. And then I'm going to get my fresh ginger. Oh, and some garlic too. A couple of cloves of garlic. And my microplane, <laughs> which has been bent from being beat around in the drawers for too long. And I'm just going to, it calls for one teaspoon of ground ginger. So you would use one and a half teaspoons. And I just kind of eyeball some fresh, and I, I, grate, I grate some fresh ginger in there if you want to watch me. If you want to watch me. I don't know. I just grate some fresh ginger down in there. Whew. Really don't love this. Hey. <laughs> nice, Mickey. I um, really don't love the smell of the fresh ginger either. Um, anyway, and then I get that off. That goes in there. And then... I'm going to get my little, my garlic press. Once again, like I've said in the past, I never know where things never get put back in the same place twice in this house. So I never know where things are. It makes me crazy. 
So anyway, I guess I'll have to chop up my ginger. If you don't have a garlic press, I strongly suggest you get a garlic press because what I would do is just take these garlic toes off of the big thing, stick it down in the garlic press, and then, and I wish I had it to show y'all how easy it is, but I guess, I guess that's not going to happen because my son Michael, who's in charge of emptying the dishwasher, did not put it back where it's supposed to go. So, anyway. Bye, John. Bye. My son's going to get a haircut. My oldest son leaves for college on Saturday. We take him up to Tuscaloosa. He's going, he's got a full scholarship to the University of Alabama. It's not full. We still have to pay for the dorms, but it's a hundred thousand dollars. It's a hundred thousand dollars scholarship for four. It's for four years, and I can't even begin to tell you how proud we are of him. But um, don't do not even ask me how weepy I've been the last month or so. It's just been crazy. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just giving a rough chop to this garlic um, since I can't find my thing. And since it's not really, it's not going to be going in the dish, I'm just giving a rough chop to it because it is just going in for the flavor. So much easier with my garlic press. So much easier. So mad. Can't believe I can't find it. I'm gonna rough that boy up when he gets home from school. Dad gone it. Alright, uh, once again I'm gonna just do a rough chop. And um the recipe calls for one teaspoon of garlic of uh, the just I guess dry garlic garlic powder. <laughs> And um, I was, so you would use one and a half with this, and instead I used two fresh cloves of garlic. Fresh is always better. Fresh always gives out a stronger, the stronger flavor. Woo! I can smell that fresh ginger. Woo hoo! All right, and that's it. I'm gonna take my little whisk, and I'm gonna give it a good stir. Until I until the um ooh, until the sugar is ooh that sugar doesn't want to move until the sugar is dissolved there it goes you just whisk it until you dissolve the sugar in the soy show you what I'm doing because it looks so pretty. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? All right, so what I'm going to do is I have a, oh, that's my ginger. This is just a regular uh, Ziploc bag, and I'm going to take all my chicken. See my cute, cute little stanky legs right here? They're going to do the stanky leg, and they're going to get in my, bag, my Ziploc bag. I'm going to throw them in. And I'm not even going to be careful because they don't have any sharp edges. Well, they shouldn't have any sharp edges. Now, remember, I said this was an appetizer to begin with, so I make this the same. I make these usually the first, the first regular NFL game. I will make the chicken wings, and every Super Bowl I will make the chicken wings. And then you will cook them at 350 for about 45 minutes. And I'll pour a little bit of the marinade on top of them, and they will come out sticky and, you know, caramelized. All right, and then I will take this marinade that we just made. Woohoo! 
give it a good stir, make sure all that sugar's. And then all I'm going to do is just pour it all right on top of this chicken. And let me tell you, that chicken is, is really good at soaking up. Chicken is really good at soaking up the flavors that you marinate it in. Sometimes I will marinate this all night. But I didn't think about it last night, so whatever. I will marinate it, though, at least half a day. So right now it's noon, so about 5 o'clock I'll turn the oven on at 350, and then I will bake these, I will bake these legs about 45 minutes, I guess. Yum. This is going to be so good that it's going to, it is really, the sugar in it will cling to the skin and it will caramelize and make it crispy yet sticky and it will have a salty, stick sweet taste to it and it's just oh, so good. And then you get that little back hint of the ginger and the garlic. It's really good. But like I said, hardly any ingredients. Really easy. You see, it took me just a few minutes to do it. I will be back later this evening, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay? Bye, guys! Okay, I'm back, and we went through the cooking process with the sticky chicken. And here is what it looks like. All nice and caramelized from the oven. And I just took, the, took it out of the oven, so I'm waiting for it to cool. And the vultures have not descended upon the chicken yet. So I just made a side of some rice, you know, the San Francisco treat. And um, I'll probably put some green beans or corn on the side to get a little color on the plate. And that's it. So I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy it. It's really tasty, really easy. And don't forget that you can also serve it as an appetizer with chicken wings. And you can put it in the crock pot too. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And... Tell your friends about me, okay? Bye.